So what I need to do is check to see if the frets are all level, basically the same height. Uh, and to do that, the first thing I need to do is flatten the neck, take any bow out of it. And I do that by adjusting the truss rod. Once the neck is flat, then I'll be able to check the frets to see, to make sure that they're level. Okay, so to check whether the neck is flat, I'm gonna use this notched straight edge tool. It's made specifically for checking this, for checking guitars, and it's got notches cut out, as you can see, for the frets. Now, different guitars, different necks have different scale lengths. I happen to know that this SG kit is a 24 and three quarter inch scale length. And as you can see right here, that means it's pointing down to this one. So this is the straight edge. This is the edge I need to use. And what happens is I put it on the neck like this and then check to see if any light comes through. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I have to check to make sure that there's no light coming through and that would mean it's flat. Now, it actually is not flat. I am seeing some light, so that means I need to take my Allen wrench and adjust the truss rod. Now, I'm not 100% sure which direction to adjust it, so I'm gonna make very small adjustments, quarter turns at a time. Try this again. And it still needs a little bit more of a turn, but I'm almost there. Okay. That seems just about, oh, so close. A little tiny bit more. One more adjustment ought to do it. Yep, that's it. So now the neck is flat. So now I need to take this fret rocker tool. So this tool actually has multiple edges of different sizes so that I can test three frets at a time. And what that means is I need to cover three frets with this fret rocker and see if the frets rock. Little bit over here. Okay, so this one. So when there's a little bit of a rock, that means there's a high fret, which means that's the middle one that I see here. So what I'm gonna do is actually mark that fret with a Sharpie so I can sand it down so I know which one. So this one is a little bit high right there. So I just marked that. Let me go to the next one. That's it. Okay. So out of all these frets, out of all 22, one, two, three, four, five frets, uh, need a little bit of uh, flattening, uh, but that should be pretty straightforward. Um, I was going to mask this entire fretboard to only expose the frets so that I can do the, uh, the leveling, but I was expecting to have to level every fret. It seems like with only the five here being a problem, I'm not gonna bother masking this. This this will uh, clean up very nicely anyway. Uh, so I don't really have to worry too much about that. But now I see the frets that I've marked and I need to sand those down a little bit um, just to get, get them level with the rest. 
So the way I'm going to do that is using this level uh, file. So basically this, this is just a, uh, a block of, uh, I think it's some sort of metal with different grit sandpaper glued to each side. Now what I'm going to use is the 400 uh, and just line it up. Now what I need to do here, this I need to be careful because um, I don't want to create flat spots that uh, are too low. Uh, and I want to make sure that I don't take any of the contour out of the neck, uh, uh, out of the fret. So essentially I need to make sure that this lines up with the middle it's parallel to the middle of the fret. And I can line that up with the dots, the fret markers here, um, as you can see. So these are the, the middle of the neck. If I try to line it up with the edges of the neck, the neck is tapered. So I'm not going to be straight if I do that. Um, so when I sand, I want to make sure I'm sanding completely parallel to the center line of the neck, not to the edges, because that'll kind of warp the frets. You don't want that. Okay, so since these are all right down here, I'm just going to go ahead and start. And I'm not putting any pressure on this at all. I'm just letting the weight of the block do all the work. And I'll know it's done when I actually see that there's no more Sharpie on those high frets. Since they're a little bit high, they should be sticking up a bit and be getting the brunt of the, the sanding. So this should really do it. And I don't think I've filed enough to create flat spots. Um, if I did, then I have to recrown the frets, which means rounding them off again. Uh, and to do to fix that, I would just use this uh, this crowning tool, uh, this crowning file, which has a little groove, and you can actually put put that in and file it. Uh, so yeah, I think this is good. Now I can check it again with this tool. Let's see. Excellent. All right, now I need to check to make sure. Oops, okay. Make sure there's no flat spots that I created from the sanding. Um, still look fairly well crowned. I don't see any. Uh, yeah, the, the amount that I had to do was not much, so doesn't look like I really created any major flesh, but well, maybe a little bit. So let me, let me take care of that. So this, I see one fret here that looks like it's got a flat spot here. Um, so really all I need to do is kind of file a little bit with the contour of the neck. Now I'm barely doing any pressure on this at all. Um, okay, yeah, a little bit on this one too. This one seemed to get a little bit of a flat spot, but nothing huge. All right, so now the neck has level frets. So now I want to check the edges of the neck uh, where the frets, these, these little, the frets stick out here. Um, they seem to be pretty well 
sanded down. They're not they're not at all sharp. Uh, a little bit sharp in some some spots here. So what I want to do on those is just I'm going to use this protector, this uh, fret protector here, and kind of cover cover the the fret there, uh, and just try to. Uh, you know what, that's not going to work. I'm actually just going to take this file and just go right on the edge. Let's see if I can show you. So I'm, I'm trying to get these edges here. This might be a little too big, but I can use this. Just kind of soften that, the edge. Here. This is really a feel sort of thing. Um, when you're playing and you slide your hand up and down the neck, you don't want your fingers to catch on, on any sharp frets here. So just feel for it. See which ones feel a little snaggy. Here we, here's a, some on this side. Doesn't really take much. It's much better already. I have to say this neck uh, came pretty well set up. Not too much that needs to be fixed. All right. Now, one other thing that I want to do is kind of round off the, the space between each fret here so that it's not sharp. Um, it feels okay. Um, what I'm just going to do is take some 320 sandpaper and just kind of, let's see if I can do it this way, just kind of uh, roll a little bit on, on the edge here. sure you can see what that looks like but it will definitely feel feel nice and smooth while playing I'm gonna do both sides I think, uh, I think that'll do it. This feels so much smoother now. The uh, There's no sharp edges. And the edge of the fretboard itself is nicely rounded. Very subtle, but it's enough to, to feel the difference. At this point, I feel the neck is in pretty good shape. And I can start staining it uh well first sanding it it's a little rough i need to sand this down and do some uh i'm going to do a true oil finish on this but i want to keep it natural looking um so that's that's the plan so the next step will be finishing sanding and finishing the neck <laughs>